Well, just an update here. We're going to show you what this pig fat looks like and how it's developing. Not yet to the candles. That'll be part three, I guess, at this point due to this update. So I'll take a look at the fat that we now have just floating. This is almost floating in this grease coming from the fat. Um, it's just like broth. Um, this is very good for you, actually. Um, way better than what you buy in the store. Now, there's a treat that comes from this fat. Once you're done, once it gives up the fat, you are then left with the basic uh, the, the content of the fat. And uh, it's something that you... Generally, you can find like if in your Mexican rest, not restaurants, but your Mexican stores. It's called, no, not pig skin. It's called crackling. And it comes from the fat. And so, what you do is, I'm going to show you what we're doing. And uh, I've just started to pull it from the pan. And so, you take it and you put it in the pan and you heat it up and you get it hot and it renders down to this and that's fried what's left over from the pig fat and it's crunchy and I've seasoned it with allspice and some garlic uh, a little pepper I probably will even throw some lemon pepper on top of it after I get through dishing it up and so I'm putting it here so that we get the grease, you know, can absorb up the remainder of the grease that's left in it. And uh, this is how you get out of it. So you, so you get pig fat turns into your grease. Now we're making the candle with the grease. And then you take what's left and you fry it up. <coughs> And you end up with what's called crackling. It's kind of like, uh, you know, the chicken when you know, when you cook it, it gets kind of hard and crispy and, you know, you, you, it just tastes good. It's like a little snack. So, what a deal. You know, there's no way like the old way. And uh, most of this generation today knows nothing about this unless you grew up on the farm. Um, or have family that's on a farm and maybe you spent the weekend with them or summer with them or something. But other than that, most of us nowadays know nothing about this or even the process, you know, what to do with it. And uh, so we're going to make candles. <clears throat> and uh, you'll be seeing the that process when we get to that point, which probably be in a day or so and um, these are really going to be good um, I'll just take this one here kind of get a little more of the grease off of it now for the taste test not too bad not too bad let me try another one here we go whoops yeah, a little lemon pepper would be even better. So there you have it. Fresh crackling. Mmm, good, you know. Thank you, Campbell Soup. Nope, thank you, Mr. Pig. Well, until next time, we'll see you and showing you how to do candles um, with pig fat. All right, Merry Christmas.